Hello everyone and welcome back to Penguin Crafts. Today I'm showing you how to make this gorgeous little birthday card. I hope you can see the happy birthday there, it's just a light. Um, so this is using the new ink colour Fresh Fig and some of the new DSPs. Um, so if you'd like to see how to make this, keep watching. So the first thing you're going to need is your card base and I've just had a bit of a uh, bit of leftover cream cardstock I'd got from a previous project. Um, and this is six and a half by ten inches folded in half. You'll then also need the card front, which in this case I've used the fresh fig to match with the rest of sort of my collection I've done. And this is uh, I think it's four and a half inches by six inches. And what we're going to do is going to round the corner. So I have got my one inch corner rounder. So I'm just going to round off all of these corners. Okay, now I think we'll do the stamping first, so we'll get that out of the way. So I'm going to use fresh fig, so I'm going to do the same uh, colour on colour, and I'm using the Birthday Blast Happy Birthday. I have ordered one of the new stamp sets with Happy Birthday in, but it's not arrived yet, so I'll just use this one for now. And I'm going to be using my eye block. So I'm just going to line that up. Okay. <clears throat> and then all I'm going to do, ink it up and stamp at the bottom. And there we go. This is a very simple card to do, but I think it's very effective and, and works well with this. So hopefully you can. See it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've done this base bit and we've got our card stock. So I think I'll, I'll stick those down first. So fast fuse, oh, on the back. Okay. And then just line that up on the card. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is going to make the cake sort of element on this. Um, so I have already pre-cut my DSP for this just to save a bit of time. So I'm going to make a little cake and stack it together sort of like that. So I've got three pieces, two of one and one of another and this is from the Eastern Palace collection, the Eastern, I think it's Eastern Design Paper, don't quote me on that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so each one is one and, a uh, one and an eighth high, so the largest one is one and an eighth by three and three quarters. Then we have one and an eighth by two and three quarters and one and one eighth by one and three quarters. So I need to make sure I line these up. So the easiest way for me to do this is I'll get a ruler, is flip it over and find the centre of each one. So the centre of the large one is one and seven eighths. Okay. I'm just going to do that after that, and then the next one, three eighths, just so when I'm lining them up I can make sure that's right, and then the smallest one will be um, seven eighths of an inch. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> so, what we're going to do is, as I said, I'm just going to line these up. So the docks are in line and I want to use some separate tape. Very simple but really does help. Just make sure you've got your paper the right way up as we don't want it the wrong way. So that's all I'm going to do is line up and put a bit of tape and the same with this one. Okay. So line up and put a bit of tape. Oh, I've done that one the wrong way. So do I, I think I will change it, yeah. See, that was me not paying attention myself. Luckily this tape's um, very peely, okay? So this will be what it'll look like. I've got one more bit to add. So, the last thing I want to add is a bit of a bit of ribbon. So I've got mine here, it's the natural ribbon. Just gonna line it up in the centre. 
flip it over and then we're just going to sort it out so again a bit of fast fuse just going to work out where it needs to go and then fold it back Okay, and then I'm just going to secure it with a bit of tape at the top and the bottom, just to make sure. <coughs> then grab your card, and we're just going to stick it up with some, uh, I think we're going to use some dimensionals, just to give a bit of a 3D effect. So as I say, this card is very simple, but goes well with the, the other two items that I've made, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so just peel off the back of your dimensionals. <clears throat> I'm just going to line that up. <coughs> so you could leave it like that or I'm actually going to put a bow on top of this so grab a fork and grab some ribbon this is the quarter inch uh, natural with the silver trim what you're going to do is lay your ribbon over the back top and have the longer length at the back Okay. Uh, back piece you're going to fold over the top and push it through your centre one through your centre gap in your fork Okay. Keep everything nice and flat as that will matter at the end, okay? And then the one that you've put at the back, you're going to pull up back through the middle. <clears throat> so put it through the middle and then we're going to tie a bow, okay? So it's going to come through the middle and then we're going to tie a bow. When I say a bow, I mean a knot. I don't know why I'm saying a bow. It's because I'm making it bow. And then just make sure everything's lined up and then pull down to create the right shape, okay? <clears throat> just pull it as tight as you want and just make sure you're pulling them down <clears throat> as that will help as you're, when you're shaping it. And then slide your bow off. And there we have this gorgeous little bow. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so I'm just going to, that is going to sit on top of here. So I'm just going to trim it down a bit as it doesn't need to be that big at all. So we're just going to trim our ribbon down. <coughs> okay. <coughs> and then I need a um, glue dot. Not that size. Small glue dot. And I've got my piercing tool. I'm going to grab a glue dot and stick it right on the back of that bow. And that's going to sit right on top of the cake. There's always one last thing I like to do with my card. You don't have to do this, this is an added extra. <clears throat> so inside I don't like to write on the actual cardstock. I always like to put a bit of paper. So this one is six inches by nine and a quarter folded in half. And then all I do, a bit of fast fuse on one side of it, line it up with the card so it's roughly centred all the way around, and then just shut the card. Okay. And there we have this gorgeous little card. <coughs> oh dear. That will work with the two other items I've made today. So we've got the card, we've got the wine bottle, and we've got the little chocolate box. So I think these are beautiful little gift for anyone. Um, as I've mentioned before, these are for my uh, boyfriend's dad, um, whose birthday is this week. Um, so these are part sort of little presents to go with him. Hope you liked. As always, all the details will be shown. <coughs> all the details will be shown below. Um, please like if you like this video, and I'll happily do a few more collections sort of cards and gift tags for you. Thanks very much guys. Bye!